Do you know everything about dirt jump? I'm Diego Caverzasi, professional slope style rider since 2011, sending tricks in the best competition all over the planet. Today I'm gonna tell you all the secrets of dirt jump bike. I said that I gotta keep my head up, so I... Before setting your bike, maybe you need to buy one. Have a look on bike yeah, I'm standing right here. Demons all around, but I ain't got no fear. You can kick me around, but I won't stay down. I run this town, ain't backing down. We go on the rounds. Yeah, the winds will blow, but he's roots too deep. I'm on my feet, the underdog, and I won't be beat. In the fire now, but I won't be burned. I was waiting for this, and now it's my turn. Sweat on my face, blood in my eyes. Been underground, now I aim for the sky. First of all, you need small wheels. 26 inch, no more or they're gonna bother you while spinning tricks. Tires must be very hard, around 55, 60 PSI. You can usually find two sizes of frame. Smaller is better, but if you want 90, probably you need a bigger one. A good fork is fundamental. Find one with a head chamber to adjust it to your weight. You need it stiff enough to not lose power on the kicker. Your bar shouldn't be too large, around 72, 75 centimeters. Really short stem, 30, 35 millimeters and brake lever in a comfy position. The saddle is very important. In many tricks, you will grab it with your knees or your hands. The right position is just under your knees. Flat pedals are a must, guys, with good pins, I would say. Once you're getting better, starting spinning bars and frame, you will definitely need a gyro. It could be hydraulic or mechanical, and with that, you can spin the bar forever. I would also recommend to have a crank stopper to keep your pedal in position.